What was your first reaction when you saw yourself in the costumes? Hmm. I stopped I'm, eating I wasn't cheeseburgers. A fan of, right? <laughs> <laughs> that spandex I was, was like, nice. whoa, what happened? <laughs> what the, the spandex is like underwear. <laughs> Welcome, friends and fans, to another edition of GalaxyCon Live, where we are bringing the convention experience directly to you. And today, we are taking a ride through Power Ranger history with seven fantastic performers. So without further ado, it's intro time. Our first guest is an actress here today to talk about the role of Aisha Campbell and the character's time as a Yellow Ranger. Please welcome Karen Ashley. Hi! Hey! Oh, Karen, how are you? I am great. How are you, Patty? I, I miss you. I know. <laughs> I'm so used to seeing you four or five times a year, you know? I, well, I've got my clipboard. I'm walking by, I see at the table, like, hey, hey! I know. You know what? But we've got this, and I'm so happy. I'm so happy to be here. Absolutely, absolutely. So glad to have you here. So everything has been good in your corner of the world? Yes. Yeah. You know what? It's so crazy, but I think my coronation was the vacation I didn't know I needed. So it's been excellent. <laughs> I, I am so glad to see you in good spirit and in good health and welcome to the CalexCon virtual stage. Thank you. <laughs> awesome. Ah, our next guest is an actor and musician here today to discuss the role of Adam Park and his character's time as a black and green ranger. Please welcome back Johnny Young Bosch. Hey, thanks hey. for having me. Oh, on occasion, that's, that's a new one. Yeah, <laughs> D, Johnny, that. how you been? I've been good. Uh, well, I mean, I've been all right. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's okay. To, there's pros and cons. <laughs> uh, peaks it's and like valleys, this. man. Peaks yeah, and valleys. Exactly. <laughs> and, and, you know, like like several months uh, several months ago, when they're in the real thick of it, I was talking to guests. How you doing? It's like I'm okay. Like you know what? Okay, this that that time was that's the new good. awesome. Right. Yeah. It was the new no, awesome. Pink, Everybody else too. Thank awesome. So glad, glad to have you back, boss. Always Thank a pleasure. Thank you. Great mm -hmm. to see you. Indeed. Our next guest, she is an actress here today to talk about the role of Cat Hillard and the character's time as several forms of the Pink Ranger. Please welcome back Catherine Sutherland. Cat, <laughs> oh, how are you? I'm going to say amazing. How about that? Ooh. Oh, wow. Oh, it's slow amazing. down, young lady. Slow down. <laughs> Good answers. I heard that it started. started. <laughs> I'm going to say, no, I'm, I'm hanging in there. How about that? <laughs> We'll take that too. We'll take awesome at this point. I mean, I, I got my first shot, so it, it, we're getting there. We're all we're all getting there, <laughs> and hopefully, we'll get to the end. But, Cat, glad to, so glad to have you back. Thank you for having me. Thank you. Oh, of course. And our next guest, we are going back to the original Mighty Morphin Power Rangers series as everyone's favorite Golden Goon, Goldar. Welcome back, Kerrigan Man. Thank you, Patty. Good to be with you guys. Glad to yeah. have you back, sir. How you been? Excellent, excellent. I'm, I'm I'm upright. That's that's what I'd say over the last year. I'm good, and I'm, I'm, I'm and I'm a J and J shot with no clot, so we're good. <laughs> right on, right on. Yeah. I am envious for that. Well, I always always pleasure to have you, sir. Looking forward to the day I can sit down with you and talk about the old Harmony Gold days. Oh yeah, there's stories, baby. <laughs> oh, I can't wait to hear them, yeah. and maybe this year I will. Yeah. <laughs> Our next guest is an actor and writer. Today he joins us to talk about his role as the face and original voice of Zortan of Eldar. Please welcome back David J. Fielding. Hey, everybody. Hey. How are you? Good. <laughs> David, how you be? I'm good. I'm good. I'm big and I'm back. So here we go. Okay. <laughs> uh, <like> that. Absolutely. <laughs> Glad to have you back. Glad to have you back, sir. Glad to have you. See you in good health and good spirit. Thank you very much. Indeed. So happy to be here. Always. Always our pleasure. And speaking of pleasure, he is an actor and dancer here today to talk about the role of Zach Taylor and the character's time as the Black Ranger. Please welcome Walter Jones. Yo, what's up, everybody? Hey, hey. hey how's everybody doing? It's good to see all your faces. What's up, Patty? Not Thank much. I, uh, Walter, I, it's, it's same with Karen. I'm so used to seeing you three, four times a year. I know. Tell me about it. But not this year. It's I'm, been a year we had a year off, but um, I'm looking forward to getting back out and seeing everybody, meeting all the fans, and, and being around you beautiful people. I can't wait. 
Uh, I'm so looking forward to that. Looking forward to sitting down at the table, do what you usually do. It's like, okay, do you want to hear his life story from him or me? Because I've hosted him so many times, I can tell him. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and finally, he is an actor, martial artist, and EMT paramedic. Today, he joins us to talk about the role of Jason Lee Scott as the Red and Gold Ranger. Please welcome back Austin St. John. What is going on, y'all? Hey! hey. Well, it's Wait been too you, long. Baby. It's been too long. We need to get together. I'm just saying. I'm uh, like it's 1999. Can we do that? Because that was a hot year for all of us. <laughs> yeah, it was. Well, it's hey. Wow. This party like it's 1999. That was a terrible Goldar. I'm sorry. <laughs> it, wasn't, it wasn't bad. I, I, I don't think I've ever heard you do that. Rangers. Nice. Nice. Yeah. I like it. My great Dane's commenting to it. Too. Oh, it's yeah, it's well, it's yeah. also my mating call. I'm just saying. <laughs> He's not happy about that. The dog that. likes it. Hey, hey, somebody had to. I'm so, just, Austin, you and Walter are the same decorator. That's cool. Yes, we do. Yeah, yeah. It's, uh, it's crazy. I don't, I don't, so many hotels, what? I don't even know the name of the hotel I'm in. Yeah, we're both in Kentucky right now. Yeah, <laughs> Kentucky, West Virginia, somewhere. Something like that. So, indeed. Well, gentlemen and ladies, once again, thanks for joining us on the Galaxy Kind of Virtual Stage. As we said before, I think as a society, the light is firmly visible at the end of the tunnel. We are almost there. And when that happens, we are so looking forward to once again hosting you on our physical stages and getting you all back in front of your fans. In the meantime, we have this electronic forum. So glad to have you on it. The team is, uh, is uh, oh, the team is let me know we're good to go on our audience questions. So I say we just dive right on in. Let's go ahead and do that. All right. The first one comes from Stark, and they want to know what was your favorite part about being on Power Rangers? Hmm. <laughs> we, we all like anybody <laughs> meeting all these <laughs> wonderful people. <laughs> that was no, honestly, that was my favorite part. The fact that I have like a Power Ranger family that's like a hundred plus people, and literally every time we're together, I mean, honestly, this excitement that we have just to see each other on the screen is real. Like, we when we're together in person, we can't wait to like have dinner, just hang out, catch up. We all really have genuine friendship, so that's a blessing. I mean, I've got a hundred plus more friends than I, I would have had if I wouldn't have done the show. So a lot of brothers and sisters. Yep, I've always wanted to do action on film. So to be able to be on a show that had a ton of action was really, really kind of like winning the lottery for me. You get paid to do what you love. I mean, that's yeah, kind of how it was I feel. Fun. I was like, wait a minute. I get to, I get to pretend to be what I already am a teenager with attitude and I get to kick people on, on screen. Um, would I like the job? Yes. Yes, I would. Thank you, please. <laughs> it was really cool to be a part of something that was, uh, during the time period, was kind of the springboard for the live action superhero stuff that was to come later on. So yeah. uh, we were there right at the incept of that. So that was very cool. Yeah, I did owe David from the standpoint that it, you know, it was really a gas to be on something that we didn't really know we were on in the beginning it, it, we, it was just a job and it evolved and next thing you know we're shutting down the ventura freeway for a live show kind right. of our heads going we, 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 we i think we got i think this is a hit <laughs> and, and, then, and, then, and, then, and then to evolve to here and all of these comic cons <laughs> to still be relevant is really pretty cool that was wild to go from we weren't sure the network was going to pick up the series to performing on the same stage as live that Aerosmith, Madonna, and Michael Jackson were performing on at Universal Studios. I mean, I didn't really know a whole lot about acting. I mean, Walter and, and those guys were my first education, but I sure knew who Madonna and MJ and those guys were. When they told me I was yeah. on the same stage, I was like, <sighs> I, I, <laughs> I, had, I had no way to even quantify that in my, that's all it was. My you know mom. what's crazy to me is is the fact that we have action figures. <laughs> I'm like, I'm yeah. like, I have probably like six, eight action figures, which is crazy. Comic books, trading cards. There's like, oh my gosh! And like you yeah. think about yeah. what Power Rangers was, and we never knew that it would be here, especially 28 years later. But the fact that I can say that I have. Probably, I got like three pops. I got maybe five or six action figures. That's amazing. Yeah, it is. crazy. 
Such a and blessing. I think for me, I, I you know I came into the show in a different experience because it was already a huge hit when I came on. But I got to to come over to America, like got to change my whole life to move across the country, and um, so I really it's it changed my whole life in in many ways. So I'm very grateful. Nice start. <laughs> thank you. Uh, start. Great question to start us off with. Thank you. What's next? Here's one from Dylan. Ah, what was your first reaction when you saw yourself in the costumes? Hmm. I stopped I'm, eating cheeseburgers. Right? <laughs> <laughs> that spandex I was, was like, tight. Whoa! What happened? What the? This spandex is like underwear. It does everything. <laughs> we start right. We started having salads. Like we were like, oh it's shoot. Sure. <laughs> Avoid the cross service table. <laughs> Avoid cross service by any anyway. No, but it was. I mean, that costume was so like like you're walking around naked. Like when you wear spandex it's yes. just a well, you didn't even have a skirt. You didn't have a skirt. At least I had a skirt. No. Yeah, you had a skirt. Like my all the all the bootylicious was out, baby. Oh yeah. We were we were not leaving anything to the imagination. So it was it was like, okay, I'm gonna eat salad and protein. <laughs> but it was fine. It was I mean, honestly, I, I felt honored when I first got the costume because I remember this like it was yesterday, like open it up and it said Trini. It said Twee. And so I literally, like, physically stepped into her shoes. So it was wow. very much a, an honor to, because I knew, like, once we got on the show, we realized, like, I mean, we were replacing some very, very popular characters. And it was just an honor to be able to, like, kind of take over the baton, you know, take the baton and kind of make Aisha, you know, make the Yellow Ranger my own character. But it was still, I like, I really appreciated what she did. You know, she got the party started. So for me, it was a very big honor to literally step into her shoes. Wow. <laughs> For me, I was very... Baby Joe's shoes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> On my big toe, literally. You, her you needed a bigger shoe. <laughs> <laughs> I, was, um, I was very comfortable not being anywhere near the costume, very comfortable watching and seeing whatever was going on. Never saw it. Never laid my eyes on the costume except on screen. Wow. 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 Oh, wow. They never showed you no mock up or anything? Nothing, huh? Not nope. even a photo? Nope. Wow. Nope. Wow. And, I, and I never met the dog in uh, VR Troopers. Wow. <laughs> wow. I, felt, I felt completely naked from the neck up. So. Yeah. You, you, you can relate. <laughs> You know, sure. <laughs> we were like, who's the naked guy walking around with blue, with blue makeup? <laughs> we get a little more blue it. over there, a little more blue. That's what we need. I got to say, the first time I found myself in the uh, in the Black Ranger costume, I had a, a, a sense of like, this is really cool. I mean, like, come come from Detroit, Michigan, which is a predominantly black city, the Motor City, Motown, to see me in a black suit as a black man, I was like. Yeah, I'm holding this day. <laughs> I was excited. I was like, yeah, this is cool. I got the black costume. I got the black helmet in my hand. I got the power axe. Let's go. You know, I was excited. You felt powerful. I did. I was a Power hey. Ranger. Hey. Hey. I think as the Red Ranger, I was I was the youngest of the cast. I was, you know, I just turned 18. And uh, I don't know what all y'all remember, but at 18, like, secure in yourself is maybe it had a right for some of you but for me it was not there yet so <laughs> it wasn't i remember there i was me. like oh yeah check check that yeah, yeah. oh oh that oh oh okay yeah I, like no more cheeseburgers okay we can do that. <laughs> You feel yeah. me? You all feel the, me? You know, all the stunt guys are like mowing stuff down, but the stunt guys were, I mean, we fought, Walt, you and I, we were we were fighting all the time. All but the, the stunt guys on Charlie Unit, it was all day, every day, like mad respect. And I'm watching them mow down cheeseburgers and burritos, and I'm like, <laughs> are they eating the same burrito that I'm trying to eat? Because that doesn't work that way for me, I'm just saying. So it was, uh, you know, it was... It was amazing. It was exhilarating. It was powerful. It felt like stepping into Superman or Spider-Man or any of these superheroes I wanted to be as a child. I was like, holy crap, that's me. I'm him. We are we that whole moment. And it was amazing and terrifying and exciting and 
all of that all at the same time. And then one thing my father said to me on countless road trips across America, better pee before you get in the car. The same is true with that suit. <laughs> That's all I can say. Yes, yes. I, I believe it. <laughs> can you have a little zipper? For you. Patty, Patty, if you had a zipper, it started no at the back escape. of your neck and went down to your buttocks. There was no exit route in that costume. <laughs> I did not built that way. Yeah, I, 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 I have some zipper suits. That I, I could cut it. I could do it. All right. Okay. You're a better I man. Could, You're a better man. Yeah. He does Pilates. <laughs> <laughs> now, now my arms may like ruin the rest of the day. But I need to some of that hot Bikram. I've been looking for a class. <laughs> As a costume, it's like uh, I gotta. It's that time. I give me a zip. Okay, fine. So, uh, <laughs> Johnny, how about you? I suppose, uh, uh, same question, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean, kind of like Karen. Like I had Walter's uh, clothes. It was like all of his stuff. It had his name on it. Um, and so for us, because I was just some skinny Asian We didn't get kid, no new, but no new wardrobe. <laughs> yeah, so, uh, but I, I mean, I was already insecure being like, like whatever skinny kid, right? Th that they had to build these muscle suits for us. <laughs> and uh, I remember putting on this muscle suit and then putting the suit on. Um, but then, and then just feeling like, holy cow, Walter was huge. <laughs> like, like, like this, you know? And I remember coming back home one time to, and my sister saw me like regular without the suit. And she was like, oh, I thought you got bigger or something. <laughs> like, no, that's, that's a must. That's Walter. Walter's, that's Walter's <laughs> body. <laughs> uh, Walter's body that, you know, <laughs> I apparently. Well. <laughs> Guys, don't even throw. You know, kind of deflated. Like that's where the ninja costumes came from. It was like, hey, you know, the flowing, that might look, actually. Let's see that out. <laughs> so this guy's just saying. And uh, Kat, uh, it was like the first time you fully suited up and you saw yourself. Yeah, it was cool because I felt like I came on the show and I was the, like an evil character when I first came on. So it was fun because I felt like I was officially part of the, the group once I put that suit on. And I, I've probably seen the pictures, but I, there's a picture of me and Karen and Steve and, and JDF all standing together um, in our suits for the first time in the in the hallway where our dressing rooms were. Um, and when I look back on that, I remember how I felt in that moment. Like I felt like, oh, they've accepted me. <laughs> Oh yeah, we loved you. <laughs> I think Steve's holding up a Reservoir Dogs vi uh, video in the picture, of course, because he couldn't be too innocent. <laughs> Steve. Uh, uh, David, what was it? What was it? What was it like? Like, did they finish your makeup and you were like, "Is, is this? Is this it? Uh, there gonna be more?" <laughs> It was uh, very uh, odd because uh, they shot my stuff on the last day of the shoot for the pilot. And everybody uh, in, in my, my memory of it is that most of the crew was sick. So everybody was uh, far away from me. And uh, under all the lights, I could only see the silhouettes of the cast as we did the lines back and forth with one another. So oh, wow. uh it was very much like being like Zordon and being separated from everybody in, inside a tube. So it was, uh, it was very odd and very exciting. And then it was over, and uh, I went to my day job. So, <laughs> uh, fair, Dylan. Thank you. Great question. What do we have next? Here's one from Allison. Oh, what was your favorite episode to be a part of? Wild West Rangers. <laughs> That one was fun. Did I care? That one was yeah, awesome. We laughed for like five days. Like it was, we got to learn how to ride horses. We were like laughing. We oh, all had so like country accents. Accents, yeah. I got to part my hair like all weird. Like it's kind, of, kind of like now. Yeah. <laughs> you got the same hair. I got the oh, I'm Abraham. <laughs> Cowboy hat hair. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it was fun. It really was. It, in fact, it was the only time that I, for me at least, that that I we ever got like a letter that from Saban that was like, "Great job, that was very funny. <laughs> Keep it up." Yeah, and I was right. like, "Oh wow, <laughs> he said something to us. <laughs> he knows we're alive." <laughs> <laughs> 
No, it was. It was honestly the funnest episode because, you know, in the in the series, like people get like they get under spells and they get to like be other versions of themselves. We never really got to do that because like they always kind of kept us just as ourselves and we would, you know, fight bad guys. So we all got to be, you know, a country western version of ourselves and we just i mean we were cracking up the whole time and i, I don't know what it was about that we just it, we just had a lot of fun on that episode that is one of my favorites for sure same yeah. same answer fair fair who's got another mm, well i'll comment to mike when i started my role was nothing um and tony oliver the one of the producers said uh, you know, Carrick, when we when we first we didn't really audition, he handpicked the uh, monsters because we'd all worked together in a, like an ensemble troupe company going back to uh, to to inner sound, if, if you will. Maybe. Um, so I just had a little couple little nothing lines. He said, just throw some stupid voice at him. And um, and then he called me about I think it was uh, 16 episodes in might be 17. And he said, you better get that voice squared away because this role is way, way bigger and we made a mistake. Well, I, I, I hadn't done my good homework with the voice. It, I wasn't dedicating much to it. This is, people ask me all the time at cons, was it somebody else in the first 17 episodes? I said, no, I had to go down into my little basement in my little Burbank house. And I spent about an hour finding the voice, which was a much bigger bigger voice and I and I had more control over it because I had a lot of errors in it and and I'm rolling over the chords to for the most part I could record comfortably for about 45 minutes yeah and uh, I think so uh, uh, closing that out when I found that out and got to do uh, I think it's green is the green is the new green is the new evil. green green with evil green with evil and it was a five it was a five parter and I, I just, I just was kicking everybody's ass, and we were in smoke, and I had Austin underneath my foot, and you know, the, it was a really fun five part. Swinging at me with swords in the fog. I mean, what the hell? <laughs> <laughs> it was fun. I mean, you know, it was like wow. Um, yeah. So when I found that out, that that from that point forward, uh, you know, I really dedicated myself to the character, and um, even though he was somewhat of a one note character, I. I'd like to believe I brought a lot of my own effed up baggage to make him a multi character. He did a great job with the character, man. It's definitely memorable. It's true. Goldar was, was a staple. And in the new movie in 2017, what everybody says to me across the board is whether they thought he looked cool or not, they all missed your voice. I don't know what they were thinking with that when I finally got around to watching it. Anyway, we're getting off point, which I have a tendency to do, so... It's all good. Yeah, I had fun with the character. I brought, I brought, I, I thought about it, and I am going to say this because this is fresh for me after all these years. I, I thought about this about just only two months ago. I thought, what, what is this about all this about Goldar? What really, what did I do to, because he's very one note. I mean, he was really a one, he was written as a very one note character. But I think I finally realized I brought a lot of, different emotions with this character. I, I, brought, I brought in stuff that I didn't realize I was even bringing in. I mean, sadness and anger and uh, probably a lot of my own effing life. It was very, very method. Yeah. <laughs> it was good. So, you know, I think I think a one note character became multi-noted um, and, and Scott and I worked very hard at making this character really work. So it was it was probably the best time of my life, honestly. Okay. You know, I think uh, awesome. other than it being like favorite episodes for me, it's more like favorite moments in different episodes. Yeah, so like yeah. 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 We had an episode where we, uh, where we were camping and we had a pillow fight. That was a lot of fun. I remember us fighting with the pillows and <laughs> just like knocking each other out with pillows. That was fun. And then we had the episode with the food fight. And of course, <laughs> that's fun. You know, we're like throwing food yeah. at everybody. And then we had an episode where. Um, Isle of Illusions, where um, we were, everybody, I was, I was going through some insecurity problems, and a bunch of the monsters were on the island with us, and uh, 
we got to be on the set with the eye guy and pudgy pig and all these monsters that we had seen on tv but never actually seen in person and they were right. on the set with us and we're taking pictures <clears throat> with them and stuff that was a, that was really cool and the episode where we uh we saved the town and they had a, a big billboard with us and we were on the stage and there was a whole like village of people that were like celebrating us. Remember that? At the park, yeah, I do. That was fun. Nice. ATV riding. Great episode. So I mean, nice. I don't even know the names of those episodes, but those things stick out of my head as being um, a lot of fun. Cool. Very cool. I liked um I loved when we get to travel. That was really nice. Hey, hey, Miss Alicia. <laughs> oh, that's so cute. Um, yeah, I loved when we got to travel, um, uh, and I loved working with the animals because I'm a huge animal lover. So there was an episode where Karen and I worked with this little monkey, and I was obsessed yeah. with this chimp. I I couldn't. I was just in completely in love. So um, that was that was really fun to film. And then we had a dog in an episode. Um, Smokey. The dog. <laughs> <laughs> nice, nice. David, you got a perspective on this question? Uh, well, I enjoyed uh, the Green with Evil uh, series because uh, Zordon was only in two of those episodes, so I got to lay back and uh, sort of take a little <laughs> mini vacation, so that was pretty awesome. Uh, but my, my favorite episode is always the first one because that's where I get to meet the Rangers for the first time and uh, grant them their, their coins and... Uh, call them Power Rangers for the first time. So that's always my favorite. Yeah. The uh, chicken's ready, ready, whoever. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the timer went off. My brownies! <laughs> Cookies are ready. Uh, uh, hey! Oh. Hey! Oh, hey! Oh, hey! Oh, hey! Oh, hey! Y'all come back now, you hear? Yeah. Uh, uh, Austin, bring us home. Uh, you know, I think I think for me it was always the original honored pilot because uh, I didn't know a damn thing about acting. I didn't know about cameras. I didn't understand large groups of people. I wasn't used to the attention, and I was a teenager kind of transitioning into a man in a world that most teenagers should never transition into manhood in. <laughs> and um, it was my learning curve was just straight up. So for me, it was uh, it was just eyes wide shut and eyes wide open all at the same time. So I think for me, both as a as a young boy slash young man um, and as an early character as Jason, it was the beginning of, of an arc that David describes much more eloquently when he talks about it. And he kind of put it into my perspective that was just, that was the very beginning for so much in my early life. And uh, it, I think that just will always be near and dear to me. Walter was there as as my big brother and has been for 28 years. And uh, I just, every day I was learning something because I knew nothing. I could have stood there and been at the coffee pot and learned some stuff I didn't know. So it, it was just incredible for me. <clears throat> wow, very nice. Allison, thank you. That was a wonderful question. And let's go ahead and roll another one. Here's one from Andre. If you could create your own Megazord, what would it be and why? Wow. Ooh. I'm going last on this one. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Well, oh, Megazord. Uh, going with the theme of, of like, you know, what we need more of in the world. We need more uh, acceptance and kindness. How about diversity? Some kind of diversity Megazord. <laughs> well, we were that though. I mean, look at us. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, I guess he was a comp compilation of animals. He's a compilation of, yeah, I guess. Yeah, I can't think of anything. I mean, I really like the the movie Megazord only because my I was able to kick somebody in the in the nuts. I mean, we, we raised the stakes, you know. Aisha raised the stakes in that moment, you yeah. know. So I mean, <laughs> we needed more of that. <laughs> more uh, nut kicking uh, Megazords. So I, I don't know I what's a, wrong with me today, guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> Something is very wrong. I've been in I've been in hibernation far I'm too long. <laughs> <laughs> Clearly. They're like, what is wrong with her? 
so when they, when, they first described, when they first described the show with me, uh, I knew immediately what, what it was going to be about because I grew up with uh, watching a lot of the kaiju movies, Godzilla and, and all that stuff. And uh, I, was, I was a big fan of the Serpentera uh, Zord. Uh, so I would like to see that combined with like King Ghidorah from, from the Godzilla series. So we get a three-headed Zord. I think that would be very cool. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Good answer. Uh, yeah, it's, it's interesting because before you said that, I was thinking because obviously I just watched Godzilla versus uh, King Kong, and I was like, a Godzilla Rex would have been insane. Yeah, like I, I would have loved that. I would have loved that. I don't know how a Mecha Godzilla, Godzilla T Rex craziness that just would have that would have been awesome. Yeah. I mean, in my 17, 18 year old slash old man mind now. It's all still <laughs> equally awesome. I'm just yeah. Or just have the Megazord go up against Godzilla. That would be like a, you know, a battle royale. So. And I was a fan of Serpentilla. I, uh, Serpent, Serpentera. Yeah. She, yeah. <laughs> yeah. There you go. There you go. Tell you what, I'll do a popcorn style. Anybody else got one that want to chime in on? You know what? It, it's, it's a hard question because I, I don't yeah. know. I mean, all these stuff, my mind runs in circles. And I think about what could be creative that hasn't been done. And I think about a Swiss Army knife Zord. Okay, that's right. <laughs> How about a, a Marvel Steam Zord? I, I don't know about it. A house. <laughs> oh, a house. <laughs> sword. Yeah. A cheeseburger. There you go. Talk like, food. I don't know. Hey, I'm a prince. I, I, I will admit, me and my buddies back in the day would – Invent what we thought were ridiculous zords, and then we would imagine which one of our friends would have one. But what Barry? Barry would have a camel zord. Ah, uh, camel zord. Ah, uh, you know, or just a platypus <laughs> sword and silly stuff like that. You know, that's one thing we did. So. All I can think of is Zootopia. What do you call a three-humped camel? Any of you seen that? Pregnant. No. <laughs> Indeed. Dad joke. You gotta watch it. It's not a movie. It's a movie. I didn't make it up. I'm just joking. Don't shoot the messenger. He's hating on Zootopia. Andre, thank you. Fun one. What do we have next? Here's one from Christopher. If you could choose any means of ranger travel to have in real life, which would it be? Hmm. Teleportation. Oh, teleportation. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. All day. No <laughs> fights. Oh man, that'd be yeah, awesome. Yeah, that'd be awesome. Yeah. Teleport, 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 teleport. Christopher, Great. thank you. Wait, uh, uh, no, I mean, I might go for the rad bug. I think that thing had like uh, six thousand miles an hour. <laughs> yeah, but you never sat in the back seat, Zordon. I'm just saying. You rode that <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyone else have an ascension from teleport? Teleport. Not, I mean, Christopher, that's the thing. Christopher, that's, that's your much. answer. <laughs> uh, what do we got? Here's one from Thomas. Uh, do any of you, I'm going to rephrase this, have any of you found yourselves in possession of any props or costumes from the show? No. <laughs> I didn't yes. steal anything. Let me go on the record and say that. <laughs> I shouldn't. Have. We should have stole all of it. <laughs> yeah. That power scene uh, was just too big to take anywhere. So. What'd you steal, Johnny? Yeah. Go ahead. I didn't steal anything. <laughs> <laughs> you, what'd you steal, Johnny? <laughs> it was home by accident. What no, no, the movie, the, the medallion, the frog medallion and the movie, the suit, it kept falling off the medallion. And, uh, you know, when they had taken it out of my. Uh, the dressing room or whatever, it was lying there. So they were already gone. Oh. It was just sitting there. Oh. <laughs> it's begging for a home. Take me home. Take me home. Do you have it mounted? Is it you like, earned that medallion. You have a nice drawer? Like, actually, I don't. It's in my junk drawer. It's like, it's like covered in pins. Oh, man. Covered That's in so sharpies. Really horrible, no respect. <laughs> No respect. That thing's worth a million dollars on eBay. I have the skateboard from the original pilot. And the, and the <sighs> original pilot, Zach, came in on the skateboard and was like, That's dope. What's up? 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 It was, that was crazy. But that was a whole lot of what's like 50 up. 50 times, what's up? 
the lot. For real. Oh my God. Can I just say it three times? You're like, let's keep going. What's up? What's up? So I was on a skateboard. I skateboarded on top of the counter in the diner. It was crazy. It was like, who would do that? My, my mom would kick my butt. Right. I have, and, um, I have that. I have one shirt from the Power Rangers from an episode I wore. I went home in it. I was tired and it stayed at my house. And I also have a, a juice bar sign. So a neon light. <clears throat> the neon one? Yes. That's, like Dang. every time he Gold. says that, I get I get a little bit jealous. But I'm so jealous. I have a. I do have my communicator. I do. I have my communicator too. Yeah. Yeah, and I so, have a barrette. <laughs> So oh. you guys fret. So Johnny, like, did you have like the stunt communicator and then the on camera, like Alpha Bravo camera unit communicator? Because mine was always busted as hell. You no, know, mine was. I think that's why they. That, I think that's why Mark gave it to me. Yeah, it's just, it's just <laughs> falling apart. It's like, it's, like a, it's like a needle that he like Mickey Mouse did together that was always yep. dabbing into me. <laughs> so it's it's the same one, yeah. I can think of so many times when I was on scene, like we always we would always answer and be like, you know, Zordon, come in from the top. You could tell when mine was broke as hell. It's an Easter egg if you're watching the videos, because I would be like this, holding it from the bottom. Because I couldn't even keep it together. No budget for props, guys. No budget. Hey, I'll 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 admit something I've never admitted. Oh, Kerrigan. I have the original microphone I recorded Golar on. Nice. That yeah. is cool. And I will never tell you how I got it or why. Wow. <laughs> is it a Neumann? You 87? It is. Oh my goodness. Wow. <laughs> what? <laughs> wow. That is okay. you you get get a very microphone. The original microphone that all of you recorded on. <gasps> wow. That's crazy. Wow. Wow, man. That's dope. That's really wow. dope. You should put that in a, like a glass case and we'll all come to your house. Seriously. And look oh, at I it. fucking use it. No. <laughs> <laughs> that is so cool. How much job with that? <laughs> How many of you guys had to use like the the popping screen? Like for oh, all the time. Yeah. I always pop my peas. Did y'all? Me too. I no can't way. talk. I, I realize I couldn't talk, talk on camera. Every <laughs> every professional voiceover in the business uses a pee popper. There's not. I mean, you know, it's just it's standard operating. Yeah. yeah. You learn. Yeah. You learn occasionally how to, you know. Tuck them, you know, spit them yeah, out. Yeah. Way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I left the pee popper behind. <laughs> that would have been disgusting. <laughs> Are we still talking all about that, my all that spit? Uh, it's so good we can all understand the concept. No, 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 there's got to be a fan out there. It's like, wow, it's so many, so many Power Ranger DNA. All the DNA. DNA. <laughs> you know, like, if, don't, that's, that's like how they're going to know. We've got to run our DNA. Money. Go get the pee popper. Everybody dealt with a pee popper, Patty. Everybody. I, I could clone the amalgamation <laughs> of every Power Ranger. <laughs> There'd be oh. a Megazord. Yeah. 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 The, the pee popper. popper. The pee popper Zord. <laughs> We're going to hear about this later. You know this is going to be online, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. I hope so. Please. <laughs> I forgot that I was just talking I to you I was trying guys. to go viral this week. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, Thomas, thank you. Very fun one. Uh, what's next? Here's one from Christy. What other fandom would you like to see have a crossover with the Power Rangers? This is too easy. This is too the Smurfs. Easy. No, I'm sorry. Um, what? What, Dave? What? Marvel. We got it. I mean, they, they, they've already mentioned us in Spider-Man: Far From Home. So, I mean, yes, you know, please. we're part yeah, of the Marvel yeah. universe. We just need to go over there. Yeah. But we've also been in DC with like Superman and Wonder Woman. Yeah. True. Yes. It's like I accomplished everything I needed when I made the cover with Wonder Woman. I was so excited. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> you know what would be cool though? What what if what what if we took it dark and did like what was the twinkly uh vampire movie Twilight? Movie? Twilight, uh, that one. Hey, what? Yeah, twinkly, oh, Twilight. You said, you you said you said dark. Twilight. Right. Yeah. That's oh, teeny man. pop. Well, but I mean, I'm thinking vampires and werewolves, but twinkly was as close to That's, that's what you think of when you think of vampires? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not my girlfriend. I'm just no, saying. Dark, dark would be like uh, Freddy Krueger <laughs> or Michael Myers. Or yeah, something. that would be Okay, how about dark. Underworld? <clears throat> All right. Okay. Yeah. Underworld. Okay. Underworld works. Yeah. Underworld. It was just the first twinkly little thing. <laughs> 
Yeah, no, well, I, I, well, you started the sentence with twink, twinkly. We already know. I couldn't remember. I never watched yeah. it. I just remember hearing about it because all the girls were Gaga. I do, I, I, yes. I do, yeah, Underworld's a little more action oriented <laughs> as opposed Any to of the above. romance. Any of the above. Any of the above. I that agree. Cool. I agree. Yeah. I'll take the job. Thank you. <laughs> I'm going to stop so. talking now. <laughs> <laughs> I have always wanted to see a Power Ranger Star Trek crossover. Oh. Nice. 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 Love, to, love to see it. And to do multiple generations. So the originals, the original cast, and then some of the later guys. You guys would team up with Next Generation. I mean, there's it's a, it's a, it's a fertile crossover. So... Friends at IDW Comics and friends at Boom Comics who own the rights to those properties, you make it happen. All right. And Christy, thank you. Great question. I think we have time for one more quick one. If we can see if we can squeeze that in. What have we got to go out with? Paul wants to know what is going on here? <laughs> well, Paul, Drug Paul, I don't think I'm involved. In the world. Exactly. Don't drink the water. It was yeah. all in the water. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Uh, that, that Halloween episode they didn't go creative. as planned. There's shots for that nowadays. We, it, it, you know, only in the 90s did it get that bad. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it reminds me of the TikTok. <laughs> hey. We need to recreate that next time we're all together. <laughs> I felt like that was a... <laughs> Recreate some of these weird scenes. <laughs> I'm really uh, having to try to control myself you, here. Help me yeah. out. Kara, be careful. We'll make that happen at GalaxyCon when we're back in business. You know we yeah. are crazy enough to take you up please, on that. Please, please. <laughs> we'll do it at the at the um at the karaoke night. <laughs> oh, Paul, thank you. That was a fun one. And GalaxyCon viewers, this has been my time with the Power Rangers. Guys, as always, it's been an absolute blast. Any final words for our audience before we go? What time is it? It's oh, time. <laughs> got you, David. I got you. <laughs> that was right before there was a pumpkin in my head. <laughs> hey, you guys are getting good at this. I mean, this is new, right? All these yeah, yeah. All the stars. <laughs> awesome. Yeah. We're trying. We're trying. Uh, as always, but it's been an absolute pleasure to host you all again. Thank you for joining us again on the Alex Hunter Virtual Stage. Thank you to our audience for joining us, and thank you for those great questions. Hope to see you all again soon. Until then, bye-bye, everyone. Take Here's care, and please keep washing those hands. Yeah.